Now you know what the Solar Eye Boost does, you can now find out what's involved in getting one installed, up and running in your own home. In the box you'll find the two key parts to running Solar Eye Boost. The actual Solar Eye Boost itself, and here the sender with the clamp. Your installer or electrician will find a place to locate this near your hot water tank, usually in your airing cupboard. Your installer will connect Solar Eye Boost between the fuse spur and the immersion. It doesn't matter if other appliances have been taken off this cable, as it has in this home. It won't affect the functioning of Solar Eye Boost. The sender is battery operated, so your installer will not need to run any mains or data cables through the house. As soon as the batteries are fitted in the sender, the Solar Eye Boost will automatically pair to it. Once found, you will see the pairing successful message. Now place the clamp on the live wire at the utility meter to make the household supply look like this. Make sure the clamp is firmly closed and cannot work loose.
When your PV or micro-generation system exports energy back to the grid, Solar iBoost starts working and you will see heating by solar displayed. A blue light flashes to confirm that water heating is in progress and you can start to enjoy gallons of free hot water.